All right, so that big rant was basically just to tell you about the balancing energies, okay, and why this path that that is basically Mars, which connects to Jupiter through the path called strength and hovers so closely to the sphere of the solar energy or Sephiroth. Because once you start playing with these energies, that is what's going to get you the higher self energies and lead you to your superior self because you need to understand that you weld the powers of creation and destruction within you and you, you, you can't stop doing that, okay? It's just what it is. You make that decision every single day in small ways and in big ways. So I've already introduced Mars. That's there. If you haven't, go find my Mars video. Talking about Jupiter. Jupiter's everything that Mars isn't. Okay? Jupiter's a place of building. Mars is catabolic. Jupiter is anabolic. Jupiter builds. Jupiter is the high, mighty mind of progress, order, um, ambition, uh, finance. It's basically the corporate world in a positive way, in a balanced way that says wealth is good, benefit is strangely beneficial, <laughs> and it's good to have a higher authority, but a just and kind higher authority. Jupiter is king of Jupiter. So this also relates to Zeus, all right? This relates to the deity Jupiter. Jupiter is the mighty king, where Mars is the mighty warrior. We are dealing with the mighty king and or queen of the universe. The one who takes the simple idealistic concepts of the energies directly above it and begins to actually make it manifest. It's a place of harmony because everything has movement and everybody gets what they work for. There's no one stealing from anybody else and you get paid your worth. And yes, does that mean that some people get paid more? It does. It really does. But does that mean through hard work you can also achieve higher levels? Yes, it does. It's basically capitalism. Now, you people have been taught that capitalism is the root of evil. In fact, no, you've never lived under a capitalistic society. You've lived under a quiet form of fascism. Ah. You, America, is not capitalism. You're lied to. It's one of the many, many, many things you're lied to about. Capitalism is free market. I don't want to get a bunch of people fucking debating with me because your information is based on fascism. It's corporate government mergers. That's what you've lived in for the last at least 100 years. You don't know any better. I, I truly don't even really know any better because I've never lived under a free market system. But I know what one looks like because my astral body has visited it many, many times. Jupiter is a place of harmony because people get what they deserve, okay? They get what they are worth and they are, they get redeemed. There's a lot of redemption that happens because you get to understand and see what your work is worth and that truly makes people feel a lot better about themselves or it gives them the wake up call that they need. There is a lot of law and there is a lot of, 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 of oversight within Hest too because the king likes a harmonious and um, What's the word I'm looking for? It's not diplomacy, or no, I'm sorry, it's, it's not democracy, but it is a place that you can air your grievances and receive recompense. That's what I'm trying to say. It is a beautiful place, and one that if you looked to really, really understand how to be diplomatic, how to, how, how to increase your leadership skills because life is sex. There's a lot of romantic linkings to chest as well. So if this is a place you wanted to increase your personal magnetism, 
to bring more romantic energy into your life, this is one place you can do it. It's not necessarily the place, but it is a place of increasing your personal magnetism. This is a place that brings people to you. And if you want to really learn how to become a beneficial, merciful, but still strong leader, this is the place to go. The, the polar opposite of Hest is that you become so merciful that you become basically a pushover. And all the anabolic energy that you use to create starts to create corruption because there's nothing there to enforce the rule of law. That's the energy of Mars, is to enforce the rule of law. The energy of Jupiter is to temper that rule of law, make it fair, make it just. This is a place that you can go and learn what you need to learn to create a business, to manage your finances better, to gain wealth. Wealth is not always necessarily money, but a lot of times it is. So this is a place that you really learn more about silver and gold and actual resource style commodities than paper worthless fiat money. So don't be surprised if you go there with dollar signs in your eyes and you get a lot of uh, advice to buy silver, to uh, look into resource commodities to put your money in and make investments and get returns. Although there are very, you know, there are people that go there that need fast cash and sometimes it actually happens. But this is a place more of long-standing building wealth as opposed to instant wealth. But just being around these energies can increase a lot of your personal magnetism. Working with these energies, I find myself in very high society, although I am not from high society and actually tend to try to stay away from it. I get invited in. People want to bring me into these groups. I generally say no, but I keep my friendships that I, that I find here and, and work out ways to be of, of resource to each other. This is a place that if you want to build your personal magnetism, I highly recommend you spend time working within this realm. Okay. Now, the energy of this realm forms into two things. It is the scepter, which is the right to rule. Also, on a lesser degree, the cup of Jupiter. And the cup of Jupiter is filled with wine, strange, or blood, hmm, connection. Um, and this is something that he shares and passes around because in old days, you always drank wine, you always passed it around, you created friendships with this. The wine was the energy of life of the earth. You passed it around, you shared it. You created things around the cup of wine passed around. Okay, the other one, the symbolic, is the scepter of Jupiter, the scepter of Mars, the lightning bolt. Power, power to create. It's interesting also that in some, some symbolism, Mars is then represented by the mace. So you have a mace and a scepter. Both are very, very similar. In fact, both are pretty much the same. One you hit people with, the other you direct people with. It's very interesting. I also want to talk about talismanic magic, something that you can do with both areas and all areas of the Tree of Life or the Kabbalah. Now, talismanic magic will help combat what's happening right now. In my experiences with two women from the Illuminati, they told me that they are starting to build devices that, that blanket certain areas with thin amounts of vibrational energy from planetary spheres. Corrupted energy. So you better believe in the Middle East right now, they are swarming that area, bathing it with the energies of Mars because they want war. Okay, in Washington DC, they are blanketing that energy or they're blanketing the area with corrupted elements of Hest because they want to create more and more government, but they want to create regulatory government, corporate government, corrupted fascist government. That's what they're blanketing there. So talismanic magic is actually very simple. It is creating a carryable device that you leave on your, on your person, okay, that has the continual vibrations linked to that 
particular planetary sphere and because you are holding it within your sphere of personal influence and having it influenced by the sphere of that planetary influence, please tell me that made sense, you will begin to vibrate with the energy of that particular spiritual or, or that particular planetary realm of influence. Oh. <coughs> so let me, uh, I don't know how much time elapsed in that. You know, I'm going to stop the video. I'm going to make part three.